Hello everybody. Hello. Hello everybody. Hiya. I hope you're coming back because we've got a super fun card to do today. I know. I have to keep looking and hitting reload. And it says something about a producer. You know, I need a producer. Well, I kind of have Karina. So I'm thinking I need a producer. Aww. All right. Still my love you. Hold on. There we go. I'm here. Oh, hey, check it out. We got 20 people already. 28 people. Yay. I'm your producer. Yes, you are, my darling. Karina's my producer. I just still have to look down and look up and look down and look up. And it's, it seems really unprofessional if I just had somebody that would do that for me. You know? Oh, Karina, maybe we need to figure out how to get you to be able to do this from there. Karina's actually in Kansas City today. Normally, she's in Detroit. But she's here today. And I'm so excited. I don't get to see her. But it just feels like she's a little closer. So, oh, everybody's back again. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Karina's like the Robin to my Batman. I'm the Batman. She's a Robin. Mm -hmm. All right. We've got 48 people. You guys, I absolutely cannot wait to show you what I have going for you today because it is just crazy. It's crazy fun. It really is truly crazy fun. Um, I learned a lot this time. I learned a lot. Nevada's in the house. Hi again from Colorado. Yay. Yeah. You are the Robin to my Batman. Mm -hmm. Hello. Hello. Congrats to everybody that uh, won their $20 gift certificates from the last round with Riley and Company. We have got a really amazing prize this time too. Okay, normally I give you all the dies that I use to make a card. And this time, since our entire website is 30% off, and I'm not talking just Riley and Company, Karen Berniston dies the whole website except pop-up dies and the latest release is off. So all decorator dies, all um, add-on dies, all of that good stuff, 30% off. It is a once-in-a-year sale that we do. You have till Monday. So, but hurry, because first in, first out kind of jam. Hello, Miss Parker. Hello, Miss Penny. I just love this. I just love this. Kennewick, Washington. Hey, congrats, Brenda. Yeah, it is a, it's, a, it's a fabulous sale. Seriously. Um, we all know that dyes are not inexpensive. Um, and we certainly don't want to be like fake dyes. No. So 30% off is a really, really sweet deal. Not on pop-ups, but on everything else except this last release. So I'm going to show you what we're making today now that we've got a lot of people sitting here. So anyway, one lucky winner this time, okay, is going to win. I'm going to tease you with my card, okay? I'm not going to show it to you yet. One lucky winner is going to win the tiny house pop-up die and the gingerbread tiny house add-on. Now, the tiny house pop-up is your main die, but we have six different add-ons for this little house. You can turn it into a gingerbread house. You can turn it into a haunted house. You can turn it into a dog house. You can turn it into a beach bar. That's totally my favorite. And you can turn it into a church or a school. All the add-on sets, all these sets, 30% off. Sweet deal. Grab them all. You know you're going to want to because watch this. Are you ready? Ready? Here's my card. Can you see how sparkly it is? You guys, I'm quite proud of this because I redid it four times. Because, and I'll tell you in a minute, look at this. Oh, can you guys see that? Look. My little house, my little pop-up. Look at that. Uh-huh. Even the back. Look at that. Right. Look at 
that. I know, right? All the way around, complete 3D card. And we are going to make this little puppy, I promise you. Now, this is the gingerbread house add-on, okay? This is what we're going to make. Now, I have done a lot of the pre-work. Um, I learned one crazy important lesson. One insanely important lesson with this. Unless you are our design team, who is so incredibly gifted that they don't need instructions, don't ever start one of these without watching Karen's videos. Yes, I thought I would try it because it, you know, it looked like something that actually I could do. No, no. I went through six of these little bottom pieces. I had to redo the house piece. <laughs> yes, watch Karen's videos. It took me maybe 10 minutes. I had it all figured out. And yeah, main lesson I learned here. Okay, so we are going to make this adorable little card. We're going to start with the inside. I've done a lot of the pre-work, but I'm going to show you um, how to do it so that you will know. Can you make this card in 45 minutes? Nope. I don't believe that you can, and that's okay, right? But um, if you do your pre-work, you can make several of them at once. So let me show you what we have. Um, all right. So this house has a lot of gingerbreads and little dots and all this good stuff. So I broke out my really expensive um, organizers. Here, you can see that, right? Right? My really expensive organizer. So I have my gumdrops in one and my little lights in another. This is a really cool tip. On here, you can, I don't know if you can tell that I actually have things cut out on this, but I do. I have Elizabeth Craft Designs. I love this tape. It's a very, very hard to cut through with a die. So you can lay your paper on top of it and essentially make a sticker. So look, pull this off and it's already got the sticky on the back. Okay. So of course, not my idea. Okay. Karen taught me that. Absolutely brilliant for some purposes. For some purposes, it's not in this one, okay? But I just wanted to show you that we did this. I'm going to show you a little way to do it. We have our bottom. There's kind of a lot of pieces in here, and I made some extras. Just in case I messed them up, because I have a tendency to do that. So here's our bottom mechanism piece. Ah, oh, my sticky came off. See? This is exactly why I made another piece. Genius! So here's my piece. Apparently this little paper came off. So these I did do with the stickers. These are my little insets for my houses. So this is the bottom piece. When you get this and you cut it out with white, you're just gonna do mountain folds, okay? Mountain folds create a peak on the top, okay? Valley folds create a valley in the middle, okay? There you go. And this little tab also folds over. So this is just super simple. This is how that's gonna go. Easy peasy. These are just going to fold under and attach to your cart. Now, do you see why I thought I could do it all by myself? No. Nope. Now, it's much easier to decorate before you put it together, okay? Which is why I have pre-cut these little guys out. And I wanted to show you how easy this is. Now, if you're doing gingerbread, you guys have to have one of these pins. It's a Sakura Jelly Roll pin. Love it. Medium white. I have about six of these laying everywhere. Okay? Because they're like my glasses. I leave them laying around. I lose them. I don't want to hunt for hours. So I have them everywhere. Okay? Now, what I did is I cut this out with the sticker part on the back. And before I took my die off, I just took my white pin and went around the, out or the inside of this die. And it gives you little icing super easy icing so this is where these go on here we're not going to put them on yet i'm just laying pieces out so i know i have everything here's my little roof 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 okay the great thing about this die look at this love this so much okay you can stamp with this die it is, it is so much fun. It's a stamp and a die all in one. Okay, I don't have time to get into that today. So what I'm going to do, it, it causes a raised piece on this. So I'm just going to take my vintage photo 
and I am just going to lightly go across this. And you know what? It's not getting as dark as I want, so I think I'm just going to take my little ink pad, okay? And I'm just going to gently rub it on here. And now you can see the pattern, right? Isn't that fun? This is overbaked gingerbread. Okay, easy, huh? Okay, I'm gonna set that aside. Alrighty, but that's our roof. And let's see, we have this little piece, which I'm not gonna be stupid and turn it upside down yet, which is gonna go like this. Now, one thing you need to need to need to need to need to always remember, holy cow, need to remember, these go to the back. It will not work if you put them to the front, unless you want your front door on the back of your cart, which you don't, of course. Redo number one. All right, so in this little gingerbread set, there's little baby windows and bigger windows. So this comes with the regular tiny house, but in the gingerbread set, okay, she's made a little thicker window. I did my stickers, right? So watch this. So I'm just gonna peel this off here. All right, I'm gonna poke out my little holes or my little windows. Okay. Get those all off there. Then I have this that's a sticker and I have a little square stuck to my hand. So all you're gonna do is just place it on top of this white and ta-da, you have frosting. Oh, right? Okay, so I'm gonna lay this out. This is gonna go, nope, it's gonna go on my back, I think. So I'm gonna put, so I've already done the other ones so we don't have to worry about those, okay? So I've got those there. All right, um, my front door. Now she also included this piece. So you could put a front door on there, right? Frost it out, isn't this so cute? All right, so I'm just going to peel my plastic piece off of here, or my sticker piece off of here. I'm gonna poke out my little windows. Now there's so many little things you can do with these. In the original tiny house set, there's a little square Do not do that. It's got sticker on the back. There's a little square that goes behind the windows that you can do in yellow. So then it makes all the lights on. Fun, huh? Okay, so there's that. So let's just go ahead and work on this guy. We can finish him off. So I have this. I'm gonna use my fine line bottle and my pH glue. Love this stuff. If you don't have a couple of these bottles and some fine line glue you need to get them because they're fabulous and they dry super fast okay so I'm just gonna put that down there all right then I have one of these little guys and this I saved this made one so that I can show you guys how to make this can you see this little dot watch how easy this is instead of doing what I did to start with don't do that. Look, just pull this right off here. Okay, it's a sticker. Stick it on there. Ta-da! How fun is that? So fast, so easy. Instead of trying to hold this little baby piece, turning it upside down and gluing it. So this little guy has sticker paper also. And we're putting that right up there. Okay, then I do believe we're going to put some candy canes right here. Now, the reason, remember earlier I said there's some things the sticker paper is great for and other things that it's not. I don't want to do it on the back of this white because it hangs over. And so I don't want it to stick when it closes. So, but I did do it with all of the fronts of these candy canes. Use the sticker paper, that is. Okay, now I'm going to use my little gumdrops. 
and my little pickup tool. I call it a quicker picker upper. That's not what it's called. I think it's a quick stick. And we do have those on our website. I could not do this without it. I would lose my mind and say a lot of really bad words. So make sure you grab a pickup stick. It's got a little sticky end. And then it's got this end in case you have to take stuff off. Like I did last time. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build little gumdrop trees right here. Three little dots. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to find my little green in here. And another little green one. And another little green one. Nope. There we go. And one more little green one. And in this set, you get two dies that cut out three each. <laughs> Thank goodness, right? Thank goodness. All right. So make sure you keep keep commenting. Okay. That was a coffee break. All right. So I do believe, short of, I think I'm going to leave the dormer off on that one. And the reason is, is because I, I would normally take one of these and cut half a piece. See how I did a little dormer there? Except I didn't raise this up high enough. So this is just going to be what it looks like. So I'm going to take this. We're going to peel off the sticker. All right. Now you have to be careful because we do want this lined up correctly in this tape, as you've seen, is not very forgiving. So let's go ahead and let's put this little guy on. All right. We can just go ahead, since this thing wants to stick to everything. Alright, and we're just going to put that one on. And then we can just go ahead and put him on too while we're at it. Make it a lot easier. Okay. There we have it. Now all we have to do is decorate. So I know that my back has this little tree that's going to go there. Okay, now these little trees that I'm using is from the charm set. Let me see if I can find it. I love these charms so much. I use them all the time. Little gingerbreads and snowflakes and little trees. I love them so much. And when we get to the point to where we're going to use them on a, on a piece that sticks out, I'll show you a great feature of those. So we have that and we're going to do little, yeah, let me put those there. Down there. Now you notice I didn't glue it all down because I want to be able to keep my fold, right? And where'd my other one go? Oopsie. Okay. I've always wanted to build a gingerbread house. Like a real gingerbread house. This is so much easier. But I've always wanted to do it. All right, now I cut these before I put them on, or these would also have the little sticker paper. I cut them out before I realized that sticker paper was the way to go. One thing I like about this pH glue is that if you get any on, because it's, there's little tiny lines, right? So if any of it goes over, I just take my finger and just do that, and it picks it right up. Okay? Now I'm going to take one of these little snowflakes. Okay? And I'm just going to cut this little guy right in half. Mm-hmm. And... Some there. And some there. Mm-hmm. 
little pick ripper, put a little dormer, little pick ripper, put a number two little dormer. Okay, now we have some little gingerbread or a little, um, not gingerbread, what am I trying to say? What are these things? Gumdrops. Gosh darn. Okay, and I'm just grabbing random colors. I cut a whole bunch of them out. And keep in mind that this is the bottom of your house. Okay, see how I've got that space there? I really don't want that. And I'm hoping that it'll move down a little bit for me. And it's not going to. Okay, but the bottom of your house is not the gingerbread. The bottom of the house is the white. And, ooh, I like that purple. Now, all of these um, glitter pieces, which is what absolutely makes this card, all of the glitter papers that I cut are from the paper cut. I would never, ever, ever buy glitter paper from anywhere but the paper cut because it is absolutely the very best that you can get. Okay, so I'm going to put a window up here. And I'm going to leave room for a dormer. Little window on the back. Cut this little guy in half. While you guys are are uh, commenting to win, has anybody out there uh, ever made like a fancy pantsy gingerbread house? Like I know, I know, I took my niece and I just made one with um, graham crackers and you stick them together. No, I'm talking about the make your own gingerbread, cut it out, um, do that kind of thing. All right, that's going to go on there. See how fast this is coming together? Just need to pre-cut your pieces is all. And if you want to make this gingerbread house, just remember, you can replay these videos. So all you really need to do is to find a gingerbread color and a white color, and I have a secondary gingerbread color, and then scraps, like lots of scraps of different colors of paper, okay? I'm going to cut this in half. And there, and there. I have got to tell you, oh, I actually have sticker paper on these. Those on. Those on. Okay. Okay, I have to, so before we get into this, I'm gonna tell you guys a really funny story. Last night I thought I stepped on a piece of glass in my kitchen and Gotta run into the bathroom, you know, and I plop my foot up on the counter and I'm grabbing for the tweezers. It was a rhinestone. <laughs> it was a rhinestone! Can you believe that? On my kitchen floor, facing up, where the sticky stuff got on my foot. Okay, so this is the key piece to this house, right? We are going to fold this in half with this little tab. We're going to fold this in half. Actually, I'm going to fold them both ways to get them kind of working. All right, I'm gonna fold that little tab. And I'm gonna fold this little tab. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we're just going to take this little guy and we're gonna glue him together. All righty. Now, it tends to work best if you put it in a flat position. That way you can line everything up really well. Okay. See that? How everything's all nice and lined up. Easy peasy. And then you can bend it the other way and make sure it's nice and... Oh, look there. Hmm. Okay, we'll fix that later. Oh, I forgot these guys, didn't I? Okay, hang on. You can get those on in a quick minute. Why didn't you guys tell me? Because I can't hear you. 
but I know you're there. <laughs> okay. And let's see. Oh, there's a pink one. And a silver one. Okay. Now we have those and we're ready to rock and roll. So remember what I said, this goes to the back of the card. All right, goes to the back. Mm. I do believe we're gonna put the roof on first, yes. Karen would be proud of me because I just remembered that. All right, so with us, this is your roof mechanism. And it's super, super easy. She has got this point right here and this slant lines up absolutely perfect with that point and that slant, which means that if you bring this side over, they're gonna to go together absolutely beautifully, right? So, I'm put a little glue here and close that. And then I'm gonna put a little glue behind here and close that. See what that does? Just creates a center for my house. Okay, super easy. It just provides stability for the roof. Okay, now what you're gonna do is you're going to fold one of these to the right. You're gonna fold one of those to the left. Okay, and then we're gonna work on our roof. So we're gonna set this aside for a sec. Remember when we did, we just got done doing this, okay? We are going to, and I did these out of stickers. If I had to do it again, I'm not sure if I would or not because I had to poke out all these center pieces and it was quite messy. But what I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna lay that on there, just like that. Okay, I'm gonna lay this on the other side and it is going to create my frosting. Okay, fold that. Now, I'm gonna do this. I wanna make sure that I get to the rest of the card and I've only got 15 minutes left. So I'm gonna show you how to put the roof on. I wanna make sure that we get all the rest of the card assembled, but I would take my little circles that I have and glue them to each one of these. Okay, it'd be really fast, but. So now on this, I have one folded this way and one folded this way. All right, so what I'm going to do is I am just going to put a little glue on this one and a little glue on this one. This first one is going to fold under and we're going to center it right in the middle so that we know that our roof line is even, right? See, this one already has glue too, so all we're going to do is shut the roof. Okay, no, there was not a kit for this class. I cannot even imagine making a kit for this class. Okay, now, look at that. Now we have a house and it folds just perfect, yay. So, we are going to take our, the front of our house, okay? And we are going to lay it. And here's the little tricky part. This is why I went through oh, a lot of these. Is that we are going to put a little strip out here. This. Okay. We're going to add this. When you do this, you have to make sure that when you close your card, okay, that is not going to pop out right? Yeah, kind of tricky. So, um, <laughs> we're going to add it later because I already know where to put it, but I would suggest kind of playing around with it. If you stick it up here, this is going to come out here and your lamp post is going to go over there. Now you can always cut your lamp post off because I did. So I'll show you that in a little bit. 
So I'm going to put it right about there. See these little lines? They just line up perfectly, just like this. If you forget, go to the video. Okay? This is super easy. Okay, right there. So um, I've just used an A2 size card is what I've used. Kind of have to, if you're going to add anything to it, you kind of have to use that kind of size. If not, you can make a smaller card. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to line this up just like that. I'm going to drop it right about there. And I'm just going to hold that down for a minute. Okay, now I'm going to do the exact same thing over here. Right? And I'm just going to close it. Right? And I'm going to hold it there. Right now, for the sake of time, I'm going to put a little clip on it. Okay? But I would just hold it for a couple minutes till it gets nice and tight. So I'm going to hold this there and I'm going to go on to making the piece, the decorator pieces that go with it. Now, these are little inside decorator pieces. Okay, so this is going to be our little right on spot where we write this. So we can go ahead and do that real quick. So, and do this. And for this piece, I just decided to make it even with the side of the card. I just kind of laid it out like that. All right, these are our gingerbread pieces from our new border set. Are they cute as all get out, right? And it's all in the same one, so you just keep the stencil on it. You just keep it there. The die on it, it acts as a stencil, so you can create your own things. Now, these are my little trees I'm going to use. So I was going to show you here real quick on the trees. This is what I mean by the stencil, or the die also being a stencil. See how that's still laying on there? I'm going to take my white pen. This is what I did with every piece that I cut out for the gingerbread for the gingerbread purposes, okay? And you just go around it just like that. And voila! Yay! Now this is also one of the charms and we don't want it to look like a charm, right? So we're just gonna cut it off, make a tree. Mm-hmm. Just like that. And same with this one. Now I'm gonna take these two trees and I'm going to attach them at the top and you'll see why in a minute. Just the top. And then I'm going to set that aside. Now here's my words, here's my lamp post. I love this lamp post. It comes with a really amazing, oh let's see, I'm going to find it. Look at that. Sweet street lantern pop-up. Isn't that cute? It's its own little pop-up. Okay, moving along, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this light off right here, all right, and I'm going to put a street lantern on it instead. So, I'm going to put a little bit here, and a little bit here. I'm going to take a piece of vellum that I cut out with one of the dies, of course, put right there. It even has its little lights, so I'm going to put that there. And then I cut out another piece, so we're just going to glue this all together, except we're going to put this on here first, like that, okay, add a little bit more glue here, and put this right on like that, and ta-da, we have a double-sided street lamp. Okay, now I want it double sided. I'm going to go back because I have my stickers already done. Look at that. Right underneath it, but I want it to be double sided. So I'm going to turn it over and take another one and add to it. Now this is going to be a little, the little extension here that pokes out. Okay, so I'm going to take just a piece that I cut off. 
Okay, just a little piece that I cut off. And I am going to open this little guy back up. Look at that. She's a beauty. She's a beauty. And I'm going to take this little piece and I'm just going to glue it to the back. Right there. Can you guys see that? Just a little bit to the back. Alrighty. Okay, this lamp post we're going to put on last because we want to make sure it'll fit, right? I do want this tree here, but it's kind of big, so I'm going to cut it off. It was catching on my other one, so I'm just going to cut off a shorter little tree. And we're going to put that. This is why I said don't put them, don't glue it all the way down. Mm -hmm. And there. Put that right there. Can I see that? Mm -hmm. Now, we're going to take our little lamp post and we're just going to glue it right there. Okay? And I think. <coughs> So let's fold this down, okay, and we're going to lay this in here and figure out just how much I can get away with, which is, ha ha, all of it. So we're going to glue that, and this is why you do this, you add this little extension before before you glue your house on. Yes, before. I knew there were going to be orders that I did not remember. I don't know how to do this. Okay, so see, that's all glued on there. I want to, I'm going to add a little candy cane. Mm -hmm. So candy cane peppermint patty. Now watch this. It goes right up there. Perfect. Right? And when I close it, it's a little easier. If you train this little corner to bend down, it doesn't catch as much. Watch. When I do that, uh-oh. <laughs> so all I'm going to do, apparently, I didn't do that right it's easy to fix trust me because I already have okay I'm just going to take this off the back I'm gonna cut it off and put it back on the back and then it will fit just perfect and no one will be any of the wiser see Ta -da! right Okay, now I've used my stickers. Oh, I've only got 10 minutes. Okay, so I'm going to put these on. Mm -hmm. These are the gingerbread borders. This is one of our new releases. Those are going to go there. The Merry Christmas words are going to go here. Man, I'm going to speed do this because the front is really, really cute. That's going to go here. And you know what? I I looked at about 15 different ways that this would work. That's going to go here. And I had backgrounds and shadows and all kinds of stuff. And sometimes the basics is just better. It really is. I'm going to put that there. I have my two little gingies here. I'm going to put those there. Just like that. Oh, get that up there so you guys can see. And I have a little heart here somewhere that the little gingies were holding. And a little bow that goes up here. And this little guy. Now I'm going to show you a really super cute feature that's in this house. It's a little 
a little rock pathway. Stickers work fabulously well for this. Look at this. These are little bricks. And I used my colors. I did these all in stickers, you guys. So see, I'm going to make a little brick pathway. And you guys will see, I'm not going to take all the time to do that, but you just line them up. And of course, they're easy to do. Maybe I will take do it all. Look at that. Is that adorable? Ta-da! Right? And once your card gets trained, it will definitely sit on here. It'll sit down for you. Don't take your card and bend it that way to try to get it to, to work for you. Because you'll break it. Ask me how I know that. Uh-huh. Redo number four. Put a little heart here. And now let's work on the fronts. All right, I've got four minutes. So easy. Okay. Because in the same border set with the gingerbreads are these ridiculously adorable little candy cane or little peppermint patties. Okay, I cut them out of white glitter paper and then I did the stickers and just put the little red candy cane pieces on top and all we're going to do ah, is lay that on there just like that and I did one for the bottom oh I do not like that there we go and then I'm going to do one on the bottom mm -hmm. Okay, you guys, don't forget, you've got about three minutes to comment. I'm giving away the tiny house and the gingerbread tiny house add-ons. And all of the decorator dies on our website are 30% off. Huge, huge, huge. Okay, I'm going to take this piece and put it on here. Then I just found a piece of green that went with this gingerbread paper. I'm going to put that on there and wait till you see what's next. You guys are going to love this. Can you see me peeking out? So I found a piece of coppery glitter paper from the paper cut, of course. This is one of the charms, like the trees. Okay. I'm just going to cut the little charm part off. It comes with the little dies to do these little pieces too. Ridiculous, isn't he cute? I do not believe I'm going to get this card done. This is crazy. I didn't think I would. All right. And while I'm finishing this up, I'm not going to have time to switch back over. But I do want to say thank you to everybody out there that has supported us in the last year. You mean the world to us. And... We absolutely adore you guys. I love, 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 love coming on Saturdays with you guys. There we go. I wish you guys all the best health and happiness in the new year. Ta-da! Woo! How's that? And now I can swap over. I did it. That's insane. Anyway, so... I wish you all the best health and the best happiness in the upcoming new year. And I hope your holidays are fabulous. Um, we would appreciate if you went out and shopped and saved some money. <laughs> that would be quite lovely. KarenBurniston.com would be fabulous. And right now, I am <clears throat> going to say goodbye. Excuse me. I'm going to say goodbye. I hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving and have a happy holidays. And I absolutely adore all of you. Thank you so much for spending your Saturday with me. I appreciate it more than you know. More than you know. So when you're done today, go get those trees up. Or make pumpkin pie. Send me some. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Have a great day.
拜。